Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. That is the best time of the year. I love going to see all of the maple farms. Sugar on snow. you got to try it if you've never tried oh, it. It's, it's so, so good. good. And we are getting some snow, aren't we? We have a little snow out there now. I actually got a report from our producer, Ray, in Lake Placid oh, that it's snowing there. Oh, very nice. And the skiing was apparently great today. I had to work most of the day, so I didn't get to enjoy it. We'll take a look at Storm Tracker. There's the snow shower activity. It's not very heavy. But I think there will be an inch in a couple spots tonight. We'll take a little tour here on Storm Tracker. Some light snow here from Middlebury through Rutland along Route 7. And of course, as I mentioned, out in the Adirondacks and also down into Bennington County. But generally lighter stuff. We're not calling this a storm. It's just a little area of snow moving through that'll help freshen things up as we go through the night. See the visibility in Saranac Lake 1.5. So when it's reduced like that, we know the snow is falling. Same deal in Rutland. Not much going on though in the Champlain Valley or the Northeast Kingdom. For now, I think that'll change as we get deeper into the night. It's 29 in Burlington. That's pretty nice. A nice change from the sub-zero stuff we've had the last uh, couple of days. There's the view in Burlington. Temperature, as I said, 29 with the clouds, a wind coming from the west northwest at 8 feels like 21 because of that. Here's a look at the headlines as we go forward. Just the snow showers tonight. It's mainly dry tomorrow. I just checked the summit wind forecast and it looks like another day with very little wind. Even some sun breaks tomorrow morning again before the clouds come back. There will be a light round of snow tomorrow night, but it is looking much less than it did this time yesterday. Remember how we said it might shift to the south? Well, indeed, that has happened. Let's take a look on Futurecast. There's the snow showers going through tonight. A uh, nice little covering or an inch in some spots tomorrow morning. Breaks of sun early tomorrow, but then the clouds come back sort of like today. And then the snow starts to break out again tomorrow evening. I think it'll be pretty widespread, but it'll just be on the lighter side tomorrow night into Monday morning. And look at this. This is 8 a.m. on Monday. The sun is coming out for most of us. The back edge of the snow already moving out. So that's why we don't think it's as big as it could have been. The shift to the south has continued. Then it's pretty nice later Monday and for Tuesday, though there may be a few snow showers on Tuesday. So here it is. Not very much snow, but one to three inches for the Champlain Valley and most of Vermont Sunday night into Monday morning. This is for that second round tomorrow night. And then in far southern areas, it's more like three to six inches of snow and in far northern New York, a dusting. So it shouldn't be a big deal for most of us might have to plow in far southern Vermont by Monday morning. But the sun is strong this time of year. It'll certainly help with the melting later on Monday. So lows tonight, teens and 20s, not bad at all with snow in the area. And then tomorrow during the day, it's mainly dry. Mid 30s for most of us. So that'll feel pretty good. A little sun in the morning. The clouds come back and the snow moves in again tomorrow evening. Here's the five day forecast. Any early snow on Monday gets out of here quickly. That's why I didn't even put any snowflakes in the icon. The sun comes out later Monday 27. Look how it gets colder though. There's snow showers here on Tuesday and we're talking about highs in the teens on Wednesday and Thursday. The average for the first week of March is mid 30. So we're way below average for the middle part uh, of uh, next week, but there's no big storms next weekend. By the way, we spring forward an hour. So believe it or not, that's coming up pretty quickly. There may be a mix next weekend, but that's really the only bigger thing we're watching in the 10 day, Jen.